Hey, what's up everyone? Mike here in the BFH garage. I've got a project today that's pretty simple. It's been on my to-do list for a very long time. It's just priority wise, it's been way down at the bottom. Right now I have some free time that I'm just gonna start knocking out some of these smaller items and this is gonna be one of them. Today I'm going to fabricate what I'm gonna call a um, winch thimble dock. In other words, when you have your winch line in and stowed, where are we gonna put that thimble so it's out of the way and doesn't get damaged? Come over to the front side of my Jeep and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I wanna first start out with full disclosure that this isn't my own idea that I came up with. A wheeling buddy of mine made one for his. Um, I like the idea because it keeps this up out of harm's way, but uh, I'm hoping to make it just a little bit better. So we'll see. Before we get started with any of that though, let's talk about some of the common um, attachments that you could put at the end of your winch line. Normally when you buy a, uh, a winch rope, it's gonna come with a hook of some sort like this. Um, very common, it's cheap for them to build and sell and it keeps their costs down. Um, at the end of that line, you're gonna have a connection like this um, and you can use a whole bunch of different things for this. You could slide a soft shackle through there if you want. Um, and use it that way, or you could put a hook there. Um, you could do a number of things. One of the things I see out there with aftermarket type of um, connections is that they have something similar to this that connects into their device and a pin goes through and holds it in place. Well, all you're really doing at that point is making an additional um, connection point. You're not solving any type of problem here. You could put a soft shackle through this. You don't need a big old hook or, or one of those folding things that comes up to the side. It doesn't make sense unless it's designed right. So uh, when I'm looking at what I have here, this here was built by uh, a guy named Blaine Johnson and uh, he's the owner of Black Magic Brakes. The thought that goes into stuff like this is just incredible. The guy's got a great mind. And when you look at this winch line here, you see how it goes into the thimble, but it just doesn't go in and have a pin go through. It actually goes all the way around right here, and then it gets buried spliced back into the line. So this thimble here isn't um, reliant on a single pin to hold it in place. Now, don't get me wrong. I know there's a bunch of other manufacturers out there Factor 55, um, I don't know, a bunch of them. Anyway, um, probably not had a whole lot of failures, but my, my point being is what problem are they solving when something like this would do the exact trick that they're trying to accomplish there? So when you look at um, this thimble as well, and the reason they call it the safety thimble is it's got a big old fat back right here. So when you winch this thing in, it will, uh, it will pull in and suck up two your fair lead here without pulling in. So if you're holding it and somebody's not paying attention for whatever reason, it's not gonna suck your hand in there and, uh, and, and get you hurt like that. So um, this thing is very well thought out, no pins to remove. All you gotta do is run that line around, bury it, and it's good to go. The other nice thing about this too is, is that you can, if you break your winch line on the trail, you can uh, uh, cut it and splice it right back in using the same thimble, so it's really good. Now, the problem that I'm trying to solve here for me personally right now is when I go wheeling, I gotta find a place to put this so it's up out of the way. And the reason for that is if you look at my bumper here, you'll see marks everywhere underneath my, um, my uh, uh, recovery points here have rock rash all over them, so I want to get this thing up out of the way instead of getting beat up here. So the only reason I have this bow shackle on here is to show you a couple different ways that people will secure their line when they go four wheeling. So for example, we come back with the um, hook here, you'll see a lot of people, and this isn't the bolt that goes with it, I'm just using it for demonstration purposes only, but you'll see a lot of people that'll bring their winch line in like this, they hook it to their bow shackle, it goes in, it secures like that. So yeah, it's not going anywhere. And if they hold it tight, you might not even get a rattle. But the problem I really have with that is all of this right here is exposed to any type of rocks that I'm gonna be crawling on. And as you can see by my, my bumper here, I do use rocks to gain leverage to get up some obstacles. It just happens sometimes. And so with a hook here, with anything else attached to a bow shackle like this, 
everything here is going to be subject to getting um, damaged by the rocks. First of all, not a fan of these hooks. Second of all, not a fan of bow shackles anymore um, since um, the uh, soft shackles have come into uh, favor. Those are awesome. So when you're looking at soft shackles, you know, this breaks, it's a lot less damage than that. So with that being said now, how am I going to secure this to where it's out of the way? So what I've come up with, again, um, not my original idea, but what I've come up with, and this here is just a simple prototype, is I wanted to make a device here that I can uh, put on my bumper. I'll just weld it right in place. But anyway, this uh, thimble will come over here, go over the top, and uh, I, I can pulse my winch in. It'll get tight, it'll stay right there. But my thimble is out of harm's way, and my winch line will be out of harm's way as well. So if it's all sucked in like it should be, it'll be somewhere right about there, and it will sit there. I can bang a rock, that's not gonna get hurt. The only exposed part that I'm gonna uh, have out there that I still need to pay attention to and check periodically is gonna be where the winch, winch rope goes up and over my fair lead here to get there. That's the only exposed part. But when you look at my fair lead, I don't have rash up here on the top and, and sides like that. I have just a little bit right here on these bottom sides when I'm coming off of an obstacle. But over here, is gonna be the best option for me to keep that thimble out of harm's way, keep my rope out of harm's way, and still allow me to have easy access. Now, this thing doesn't have to be built, um, you know, so strong that I'm expecting to do a pull off this. This is simply going to be a dock to where I put a little bit of tension on this, and it wraps around this, holds in place. It doesn't move, it doesn't uh, make noise, it doesn't rattle while I'm driving down the road. So that is what I'm looking to do today. Um, I'm gonna make something similar to this. I'm gonna do it a little bit differently than the way I did the prototype here. You'll see how that goes. And uh, it'll just be a permanent fixture right here on the bumper. Um, and uh, it's, it's just gonna be a great spot to hold this safety symbol. And by the way, I'm gonna put the link for the uh, Black Magic Brake Safety Thimble down in the description there if you're looking to buy one of those. If you're looking for other recovery gear, the Wizard Recovery Gear line is uh, really, really good. You can get your winch ropes from there and their prices, I'm telling you what, they will compete against anybody. The safety thimble, like I said, it goes around the outside, so you're actually using um, the thimble itself as part of the connection and your rope isn't uh, gonna be the weak point. Um, they have other recovery gear there. They have those soft shackles over there. Take a look, again, Wizard Recovery Gear at blackmagicbreaks.com. As you can see, this project's gonna be really easy. When you look at this thing right here, it is nothing more than a three quarter inch pipe with a quarter inch reinforcement. I have a 3 16 of an inch uh, retaining plate on top. And then on the inside of this, I welded this half inch pipe that will slide into this and make for more secure connection for that. Everything else, I beveled all my edges. So when I go to weld it, it will uh, lay on that bumper really nice and be plenty strong. So the way this is gonna work, I mean, it, it, you can see there, you just have to figure out how tall you want it to sit off the deck. In this case here, I think I'm at um, three inches maybe. I'm just guessing right there looking at it. I'm gonna cut off a short section of this half inch pipe here. And for the top retainer part, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the pipe, I'm gonna set it there, I'm going to lay a weld bead on the inside so that way um, this, this top cap can slide into that pipe. I'm going to grind this down, get all this top coat stuff off. That will slide inside of the three quarter inch pipe right there. And the one thing you have to account for is the weld seam on the inside. So you may need uh, to hammer that weld seam to get it, uh, allow this to slide in there nice and easily. Then I'm going to take the reinforcement. I'm going to cut that. We're going to, we're going to put it uh, right there. And that's it. Very, very simple project. This is a great project. If you want to practice your welding skills on something, everything is going to be super simple. Let's get everything cut the way we need it. And then uh, we'll get to the welding process.
This is what we're looking for, something similar to that. This is all that is left after we get everything cut down. It's real simple. You have your stem here. I went back and remeasured. I took a half an inch off. I have mine set at two and a half inches. This will be the top plate. I left it oversized because it will be ground down once it's in place because it'll fit the entire profile of that. I'm going to weld this to that. And then this will go inside there. I'll hammer that down. And then I will plug weld each of these three holes as well as lay a bead where this meets right here. You see I have that beveled. I'll get a good bead there, and then when I go to uh, um, final um, grinding on it, I will smooth everything even with this. So that bead will be tucked up into the bevel there, as well as the plug welds, and that retaining device will stay right there. And then lastly, we have the, um, the uh, reinforcement that will go there. And again, these are beveled edges too, so that way I get plenty of weld on both sides, as well as the bottom. And uh, we'll get everything set up over there on my anvil. We'll use the magnets to make sure everything's nice and square. Let's get this thing burned together. Take no time at all. After a little bit of welding, we have our final product here. So this was the original um, prototype that I made, just something I slapped together. As I said before, I took some height off of that deck, and then you can profile it however you want. I made sure to smooth all of my edges, everything around here, because I don't want to tear up that thimble. I don't want sharp edges on that. If, uh, if I'm using a soft shackle or something like that, I don't want anything to create any issues with that. So this is my final product here. We'll put it over there and, uh, and we'll get it well on. Let's go take a look. I have my bumper cleaned up, ready to go. And the way this is gonna work is the reinforcement will go in line with the rope. So the safety thimble here is gonna come over the top. It connects right through just like that. I wanna make sure that I get my reinforcement spline lined up in direct line with where this winch rope is going to pull and then as it gets uh snug it's going to be about a quarter of an inch from there a quarter of an inch from there and it will just be out of harm's way and easy to use if i want to use it either go free spool or winch out take it off and i have it to use and that will stay right there i got it tacked in place let's do a couple test fits and see how that's going to go. So when you pull on this, it comes up, evens out there. Lines right up with the reinforcement spline there. And my clearance here is about, oh, about a quarter of an inch. Quarter of an inch here, exactly where I want it. Time to burn it in. So I got it all burned in, but I discovered something else. So as I put this here, the whole point of this is so you don't have to touch this and keep your hands out of the way, which will be safe, right? So if I go to winch in, you'll notice that the thimble doesn't want to slide right up into place like, it, uh, like I'd want it to. And the last thing I want to do is sit there and hold it as I do that, because then you're putting your fingers in a danger zone. So what I did was I made this little tab here. And what this is going to do, this tab I'm going to weld in right there. And then when I go to put the thimble on here, it will lock right into there. Then I can tighten it and it will tighten straight. So I'm going to have to just weld that little bitty tab on there. It's not a big deal. I can have that uh, weld bead right there because this is all radiused here anyway. So it won't even reach inside of that. 
and uh, that'll allow that thing to lock in place uh, nice and flat and secure. This looks a lot more promising now. So you can take this, set it right here. The nice thing is this holds it in place right there. You can see how it's still just comfortably loose there. There's not a lot of up down place. So when I set this thing here, it won't allow it to drop down on the front side or the back side. So it is in position right now to get tightened up with the winch. Let's do that. You see how that got a lot of pressure on there. Not that we want that much, but that thing is absolutely tight. I don't have to worry about this rattling, falling off. I don't know about you, but I think this thing turned out pretty darn slick. Um, it, it's nice, it holds it in place up here, keeps it out of harm's way. The rope is on the upside of the bumper, so I don't have to worry about that getting smashed in between the rocks. I don't have anything hanging down here, hanging on to a uh, shackle or anything like that. Um, it's cheap and it just, it stays where I need it. And it's a great, great way to secure either a thimble or hook or whatever, whatever else you have that you need to secure. I can't believe I almost forgot at the beginning of the video when I was talking about the uh, safety thimbles, you go to blackmagicbrakes.com. If you decide to get a thimble there and you don't have the capability to weld up your own uh, uh, little dock like I did there, he does make this fair lead on the front side um, that has a slot for the rope to go up and the, uh, the uh, thimble will sit up here out of harm's way and the rope sits in a little slot. So it kind of sits similar to this right here. That is also a uh, great option for um, getting your, your stuff up out of the way. In fact, um, if I had the money to spend on something like that, I'd probably buy that as well. But I just enjoy uh, tinkering around in the garage, making things like this. This is really gonna work good for my needs and uh, um, hope you enjoyed it.